Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner in the all yellow livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Troy's Toys, whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America, and his website address is www.troystoysinc.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular model, allow me to share some information about the history of Heinen Airlines, if you would please. Heinen Airlines is a Chinese-based airline that was established in October 1989 as Heinen Province Airlines in Heinen, China, and eventually became the first Chinese joint stock air transport company following a restructuring which occurred in January 1993 and officially commenced operations on May 2, 1993 and operated under that, its founding name for three years until 1996 when the airline was eventually renamed to what has become known to the world today as Heinen Airlines. Heinen Airlines is also the largest civilian-run air transport company as well as the fourth largest operating airline in terms of fleet size in the PRC, the People's Republic of China, whereas the headquarters of Heinen Airlines is located in the HNA building in Heiko, Heinen, China, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Heiko Milan International Airport, which is located approximately 16 miles southeast of the city center of Heiko while the airline's main international hub is located on the grounds of Beijing Capital International Airport, which is approximately 20 miles northeast of the city center of Beijing in the enclaves of Chaoyang and Shengyi districts in suburban Beijing, China, while the airline's secondary hub is located at Xi'an Xi'an Yang International Airport, which is located in the Chang district section of Xi'an Yang, Shanxi, China. And the focus city hubs of Hainan Airlines are located at Changzhe, Wanghua International Airport, located in Wanghua, Changzhe County, Hunan, China. Chongqing, Jiangbei International Airport, located in Chongqing, China. Guangzhou, Beiyan International Airport, located in Guangzhou, China. Lanzhou, Jiangxian International Airport, located in Lanzhou, China. Sanya Phoenix International Airport located in Sanya, China. Shijing Boan International Airport located in Shijing, China. Taiwan Wushu International Airport located in Taiwan, Shanxi Province, China. And Uranchi Diwupao International Airport located in Uranchi, Xinjiang, China. As of March 2020, or at the time of this video review posting, Hainan Airlines flies to 110 destinations throughout mainland China, Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania with an operating fleet of 233 aircraft that includes 39 Boeing 787s in which 10 of those are the Boeing 787-8s and the remaining 29 are the Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliners. And in addition to the 233 aircraft that currently operates in Hainan's fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 73 more aircraft, which includes 8 more Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliners, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also as of March 2020, or at the time of this video review posting, Hainan Airlines is one of 10 airlines along with ANA All Nippon Airways based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific based out of Hong Kong, Eva Air based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garuda Indonesia based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Japan Airlines based out of Tokyo, Japan, Lufthansa based out of Cologne, Germany, Qatar Airways based out of Doha, Qatar, and Singapore Airlines based out of Singapore to hold this prestigious honor of currently operating as a certified five-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine. All right, everyone. Let's take a look at the front of the box here, and what you see there is the aircraft type, the Kung Fu uh, Panda uh, logo there, the computer generated picture of the aircraft. Unfortunately, this is not the aircraft I'm going to do the review on. There's the Hainan Airlines logo, the inscripted Chinese writing, the Hainan Airlines title in English, the type of aircraft Dreamliner, the 1 200 scale diecast aircraft model information, as well as some other uh, logos in the background. You look real closely, okay? 
All right, now you're looking at the back of the box. Nothing much back there except the warning information in the Boeing official license product decal. You see it at the lower part of the box. All right, now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the airline's logo, the inscripted Chinese writing behind an airline's title in English, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, as well as the 1 200 scale dock has aircraft model information you see at the top of the box. This is the one I'm going to do the review on, okay? I decided to keep it brief and uh, straight to the point, all right? All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box. The same information at the uh, top of the box except the, uh, the, the aircraft type. It got all the little details on there. I passed on that one. I really didn't have no need for it. No, if that's your thing, more power to you. I think that model's still available, okay? All right, everyone, now you're looking at this nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. Nothing on it, but it's okay. But you see that black padding on that uh, model stand? The purpose of that black padding, everyone, is not only to protect your model, but also prevent it from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand, all right? Now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular model, okay? Alright, with all that information out of the way about the history of Heinen Airlines and how they came about and still operating strongly, with all the details here on the front of the box here, as well as the little information at the back of the box, plus the metal model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacements that's inside this plastic bag here. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wings Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner in the all yellow livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share some information about the Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner aircraft and how they came a part of their fleet, which is changing the game for them. Heinen Airlines became the second Chinese carrier after Air China to acquire this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as Heinen Airlines took delivery of its very first of 38 Boeing 787-9s that the airline had placed orders for back on March 25, 2015 and received their very first Boeing 787 9 Stretch Dreamliner aircraft, which bears the registration ship number B 7880, at a delivery ceremony that was held at Boeing's Delivery Center facility in Everett, Washington on June 8, 2016, and touched down at Heiko Milan International Airport in Heiko, Hainan, China, two days later on June 10, 2016. Then made its actual debut three days later on June 13, 2016 with his first inaugural flight from Heiko to Beijing capital and shortly thereafter did validation flights between Beijing capital and Guangzhou and Shenzhen respectively for flight certification purposes while at the same time giving the maintenance crews, the flight crews and the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft before the actual international launch. Heinen's first inaugural international flight on this aircraft was supposed to take place sometime in September 2016, but was postponed until December 2, 2016, and that's when the Chinese carrier officially began utilizing this aircraft, the Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner, on their Beijing to Las Vegas route, as the Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner will be utilized on most routes throughout Asia, Europe, and North America, as Beijing Capital, Shanghai Pudong, Chengdu and Changsha will become the primary gate international gateway basis for this particular aircraft type with the lion's share of their Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner currently operates mostly out of their international hub at Beijing Capital International Airport. Hainan Airlines ordered a total of 39 Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliners to add to its fleet to expand its long haul network and at the time of this video review posting Hainan only has 29 that are currently operating in their fleet while the remaining eight are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery as this aircraft will eventually become the airline's official flagship jetline for the Heiko based carrier as Hainan Airlines suspects all 39 of their Boeing 787-9s to be fully operating in their fleet by the end of 2021. However, Two of their Boeing 787-9s have been stored up at an aircraft storage facility. 
Now let's talk about the uh, all yellow livery scheme you see displayed here on this aircraft. Prior to this aircraft being delivered to Heinen Airlines on May 27, 2017, Heinen Airlines, DreamWorks Animation, and Boeing previously announced a collaborative partnership on July 1, 2016 that will include the introduction of six customized painted Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliners that featured the characters and the scenes from the popular animated motion picture franchise Kung Fu Panda as this aircraft actually became the third Boeing 787-9 stretch streamliner aircraft in Heinen's fleet that actually began sporting the customized Kung Fu Panda livery scheme as this what the aircraft actually looked like when it first rolled off the assembly line in Everett, Washington for only a brief moment only to have it painted in the customized Kung Fu Panda livery scheme which was finally unveiled to the general public for the very first time right around the airline's 24th anniversary celebration which took place on May 29, 2017. All right, so that's it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft, shall we? Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft here on the port side. We're gonna start at the bottom here where you see the realistic uh, front nose gears the nose gear struts as well as the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door 7302 then you see the e-tops information on that nose gear door there as well then you see the Peter tubes and the static ports right there the nose cone the windshield wipers the co uh, cockpit windows I'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the review but what you see this decal here between the uh, L1 entrance door and the cockpit window that is the HNA decal and Heinen Airlines is also an affiliated entity of the H&A Group, which is also a Chinese conglomerate that's also a diversified business corporation that also deals in the areas of logistics, real estate, financial services, tourism, and aviation, whose global headquarters is also located in Heinen, China, who happens to be the parent company as well as a majority stakeholder of Heinen Airlines. Okay? Now let's talk about the Heinen Airlines corporate logo that's displayed next to the Chinese inscripted writing, which is this right here. The Heinen Airlines corporate logo is actually comprised of elements that includes the golden wings of the golden Garuda, which is actually a mythological Chinese bird, and its golden horn that represents its stylish beak and the conspicuous clouds as part of the airline's logo can be seen visibly seen on the tail fin of the aircraft as well. All right. I'll show you that later, okay? Now let's talk about the Chinese inscripted writing. This is by the airline's logo right here. The Chinese inscripted writing literally means Hainan Airlines are pronounced as Hainan Hong Kong in Chinese. Hainan Hong Kong in Chinese, okay? All right, we have to send the aircraft here on the port side where you see the Hainan Airlines billboard title right there. You see the inboard landing lights. I'll give you a better visual view of that later on. And then you see the landing bogey gears here on the port side of this aircraft, as well as the uh, the, the, the bogey gear, the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. But more importantly, this big massive engine you're looking at here. These are the General Electric Gen X-1B type engines that are used on this particular Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft. You also see the, uh, the GE logo on the engine column there as well. And then the sawtooth pattern. The purpose of that sawtooth pattern you see there, folks, is for noise reduction and help improve fuel efficiency on this aircraft at the same time. Now, I'm going to turn this aircraft model around and let you see the front of the engine and the turbo fan blades through spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side, featuring the engine strikes right there, and the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. Awesome. And then you see you got a better visual view of the uh, inboard landing lights right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the port side, featuring the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right. Now you're looking at the engines here on the starboard side featuring the engine strike you see displayed there and the turbo fan blade spin as well over here. Check it out. And then there's the inboard landing light on this side of the aircraft as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears on this side of the aircraft featuring the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft 
got a better visual view of the uh, Powerscape hatch door and then come down here you got a better visual view of the uh, cockpit windows the windshield wipe you see there the nose cone the nose gear door the nose gear lights inside of the nose gear door the uh, the nose gear struts as well as the actual front nose gears okay all right we're still on the port side of the aircraft you're not looking at this nice little customized wingtip here featuring the red navigation light displayed on the edge of this nice little rake wingtip all right we're at the back of the aircraft here where you see the airline's logo painted on this red tail fin you see the strobe light right there between the APU exhaust hole and the horizontal stabilizer and then you see the uh, AFT bolt bend door right there but then right by the uh, L4 uh, rear uh, exit door is the red train ship number B-7302 red train ship number B-7302 this particular aircraft is actually the 10th Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft that actually entered the Heinen Airlines fleet and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on May 8, 2017 and was delivered to Hainan Airlines on May 22, 2017 as the airline unveiled its special all-yellow all yellow livery scheme shortly after it rolled off the assembly line in Everett, Washington only to be painted in the specialized Kung Fu Panda livery scheme which was unveiled one week later around the airline's 24th anniversary celebration which took place on May 29, 2017 as Heinen Airlines collaborated with DreamWorks Animation as well as Boeing to feature the Kung Fu Panda film franchise on six of their Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliners that was delivered in 2016 and 2017, respectively. As this aircraft was also the third Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft in Heinen's fleet to actually be painted in the specialized Kung Fu Panda livery scheme. However, this aircraft was eventually painted back to the airline standard livery scheme shortly thereafter, sometime in late May 2019. They only had this aircraft painted for two years, from May 2017 to May 2019. Uh, they're still flying it like, to like the end of the year. They finally just painted back to the standard livery sometime in late 2019. Okay. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft where you see the strobe light I mentioned earlier as well as the APU exhaust hole right there. There's a hole right there as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner in the all yellow painted livery scheme from the rear view angle. Ain't it great? All right, now you're looking at the front and the center part of the aircraft where you see the, uh, the front nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on the nose gear door, 7302, as well as the ETOPS information, P2 static ports, the nose cone, cockpit windows, windshield wipers, pilot's cape hatch door, the H&A decal, the airline's logo, the Chinese inscripted writing, as I mentioned earlier, the front cargo container loading door, the Heinen Airlines uh, title in English, the inboard landing lights, the um, General Electric Gen X1B engine here featuring the, uh, the Gen General Electric logo, the sawtooth pattern, the engine cone, as well as the side visual view of these landing bogey gears here on the starboard side of this aircraft featuring the landing gear struts as well as the actual landing gear doors, okay? All right. Now looking at the rake wingtip here on the starboard side of the aircraft, which features the green navigation light right here on the edge of the specialized, customized uh, rake wingtip. All right. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side, where you see the rear cargo container loading door, the registration ship number, the airline's logo paint on this red tail fin, as well as the strobe light you see displayed there as well. Okay. Okay, if I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature which is the rolling gear. Let's check it out. Okay, rolls pretty good as you can see there. It tilts. And the front nose gear swivels as well as you can see there. There. And there. Okay. 
So, with that being said, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at part of this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front here where you see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the pilot escape hatch door, and then there's another escape hatch door right there by the anti collision beacon light you see there. You see the Chinese inscripted writing and the airline's logo on both sides. Another antenna. That white dome right there, that is the satellite communications antenna right there. And then there's another uh, emergency escape hatch door. And there's the uh, ADF antennas in 3D. And then you see the Heinen Airlines towers on both sides as well. Then you see the Wi-Fi uh, box antenna right there. Another emergency escape hatch door right there. A couple more antennas. The vertical stabilizer, you know the tail. And then there's the horizontal stabilizer with the little black dot on the horizontal stabilizer there. As well as over there as well. That little black uh, dot on that horizontal stabilizer those are called illuminator lights and the purpose of these illuminator lights is light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime all right now let's check out the wings no wing walkway but you see the nice general electric gen x 1b engine right there with the engine strike as well as the flap slats aileron spoilers what have you there's the uh, registration ship number the fuel dump valve as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft now just check on this side here no wing walkway, but there's the General Electric Gen X 1B type engine right there with the engine strike. Then there's the uh, flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. There's the Chinese inscripted writing right there, means Hainan Airlines. And then there's the uh, fuel dump valve right there, as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front, see the uh, nose cone, the closed nose gear door, as well as the open nose gear door and the front nose gear you see there. Then we slide up this way, the anti-collision beacon light you see there, the hole where the actual model stand goes in at, another antenna, and no... Uh, APU housing door, hmm, very strange. That's all right. There's the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears. Oh, okay, they tilt, perfect. As well as the engines right here, very detailed. As well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, the registration ship number, the fuel dump valve, and uh, the rake wing tip underneath. Now let's check out over here. Okay, tilt a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then you see the engines right here, as well as the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. The Chinese inscripted writing, as well as the fuel dump valve and the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well. Okay, since I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. Now I'm going to put it on that nice little white uh, metal mile stand you see over there to the left of it. So no further ado everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Alright, finally got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation. As you see it displayed there on with the model on the stand being viewed in the takeoff land position being viewed from the port side. All right, now you look at the model on the stand being uh, displayed and viewed from the front view angle. Now you look at the model that's being displayed on the stand being viewed from the starboard side of the aircraft. And finally, you see in this model being displayed on the stand in the takeoff landing position being viewed from the tail cam angle. All right. Okay. Before I take this mouth in, I got in this position for a reason, and, and the reason is, is the magnetic gears. I'm going to take them all, starting with the front nose gear here first. See there? There. Then the landing bogey gears here on the port side, there. As well as the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side. There. They're all magnetic. So with that said, 
I'm gonna let you see this model at a different angle in flight mode position with the model in stand without the gears in gear up position. Check it out. Now you're seeing this model being displayed on the stand without the gears like in flight mode slash gear up position. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model. You want to continue to display it like this in the gear up and without in the gear up uh, in flight mode position. That's fine. Now you see these little uh, gear replacements inside this bag that I showed you earlier. That's the purpose of these gear replacements. So you can substitute your model while you display it in flight mode or gear up position like you see there. Or you can choose the other option, keep the gears on and keep them in a gear down position. Gears up, gears down, your choice. I choose to leave mine on there because that adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these gears back on this model, take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. Heinen Airlines currently uses two configurated cabin layout versions on their Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft. However, on this particular Heinen Airlines Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft, it seats 292 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. Now, here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows 11 to 17, which will be from here to right here. You have 30 business class flatbed seats. And on a side note, there's no row 13 and 14 on this aircraft. And finally, 30, rows 31 to 60, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have another 262 economy class seats, which brings a total of 292 seats. And finally, Heinen Airline currently employees or previously employed their Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliners on routes from Beijing Capital to Boston, Chicago O'Hare, Dublin, Ireland. Edinburgh, Scotland via Dublin, Ireland, Hohat, Las Vegas, San Jose, California, Seattle, Tacoma, Shanghai, Pudong, Shenzhen, Toronto, Guangzhou, Moscow, Sharon, Etivo, St. Petersburg, Russia, and Tel Aviv, Israel, from Changsha to Los Angeles and London, Heathrow, from Chengdu to Los Angeles and New York, JFK, from Shenzhen to Tel Aviv, Israel, from Xi'an to Los Angeles, from Chongqing to Chicago O'Hare via Beijing Capital, Toronto via Beijing Capital, Los Angeles, New York JFK, Shanghai Pudong and Budapest, from Shanghai Pudong to Boston, Seattle Tacoma, Beijing Capital, Brussels, Tel Aviv Israel, and Chongqing China, and Weiyang China to Paris Charles de Gaulle, and Heiko to Moscow Sharon Etivo. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I don't know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. Either one of them is fine. I choose this one just straight to the point. But uh, you can probably get it on eBay. That's probably out your outside short chance of getting this model anyway. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay, stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.